It's this lady again. I walked to the side. Woo! Okay. Yo. Hey, ma'am. What? You see her twitching like that? Hey. We're doing some mortuary thing today. That's seriously the best I got. It's the best I got. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to a game called The Mortuary Assistant. So that intro you just saw, yeah, that's what no planning looks like. I've been seeing a lot of good things about this game regardless though. Apparently it's super spooky, so appropriate for October, even though I'm probably not even going to upload this video in October. Shout out to CGU Games for actually linking this to me and a couple of others saying that this is a good game to play. So this is pretty much why I'm checking this out. Hey, let's start this game up. Let's see exactly what goes down. I'm kind of regretting this already. Are we, are we playing as the dead person? Because it's just a black screen. <laughs> Wait. It was just really weird. Okay. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. All right. It, it wasn't Fair. even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm okay. just really worried. Dude, microwave. He's to finalize my stuff today. What the freak? You're afraid that we need? Right? Okay. Yeah. So that's a good thing. I guess. Yeah. It just didn't feel like he meant it. Like. He just said it to get me out of the building. Hmm. Uh, wait a sec, I have hey. another call. Hello? Yeah, answer. Hello? That's our boss right there. Here we go. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if she I did anything wrong dad. today, just... Go. No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. All right. You've well... done a fantastic job. Okay. I'm just not feeling too well. He isn't, did he say? That's uh, actually why I'm calling. Oh, he I got that nice shift late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. Ah, oh, dang. I was hoping you could come in and... Take care of them. Uh, Let me guess. She says yeah. yes. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> We're Excellent. going in. We are You're going in. Doing me a huge favor. Yeah, nice. I was about to get I cozy. Took care of the rest chill. Of your We're all set. And okay. Your badges and your personal belongings drawer in the back room. All right. That's great. Uh, thank you. Sweet. I'm on my way right now. I hope you cool. feel better. Thanks yeah. Again. I hope he feels better too. I'll Whatever the freak is wrong with him, though. Bye. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, boss. Maybe I won't. Maybe Holy shit. Be bad. That was him. He signed me on. He needs okay. me to come in tonight. Hey. See? All right. I told you it was fine. Lots of backstory then. Congratulations. Thank Thanks. you, man. I always wanted I have to, to work go. with a dad. Like, dead. right now. I'll talk to you later. All right. Happy to get the job. All right. And this is where we begin. Uh, where are my keys? That's a good question. I have no idea where the freak you put your keys. Holy crap. What the frick? We're literally living at the bottom of the ocean. You see the water completely pouring down? Talk about rain. My goodness, I think someone's got some water feature outside your house. You know, when I was installing this game and before I even was playing, I was thinking like, who wants to work at a mortuary though, man? It's such an interesting line of work. Something that I don't think I could ever try and fall into, man. Like, I'd rather just not work at all. You can see 95% of the budget went straight into the couch for this apartment. That's cozy. Lots of books. Uh, I guess that probably is us up there. Grandma. Okay, that's our grandmother then. All right. What is with the microwave, though? To operate this thing, you have to crouch down. It looks like as well the insert has been put in the wall for yes. the microwave. Like, okay. Tooth time. Yeah, get out of my house. I don't even care. Uh. Hold up. The freak. What is with those? I've never heard chips sound like that, though. Hang on. What's actually in this bag? You hear that? And bomb. A book about the history of preservation and how people use it to cope with death. Aha. There's some backstory right there. Shut the freak up, by the way. So, we got drawers. Okay, what, what the heck? The nicest people are dead. Okay, you really do pride in your job. I see that. Even in the daytime, you probably want people to ask, like, where, where you got are that my shirt? Keys, guys. Oh, we need the keys. Oh, dude, we know where they are. They're right there. Look at that. Give me those. There we go. There we go. We have those. Yeah, you literally want people to ask, though, like, hey, what's your day job? Why are you wearing a shirt that says nice people dead? Oh, I will cut more tree. You know, I love doing my job. Kind of a, an interesting conversation star. Dang, the rain is coming down. So, this is where I was living. Do we have any windows? Ooh. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. This is not our house. This is the mortuary. That explains the lack of windows. So, we're right. straight in. Guess I'll head to the back and get started. Let's do it. Uh, you don't want to close these doors though. You hear the rain? Back. How loud this is? Lots of stuff around here. All right, so we're just getting a grips with this. We have a job to do. We got to do it like three cleanups or something. Let me just put the calculator outside. I don't know why I'm doing that, by the way. Rebecca, thank you for coming in on such short notice. Let me pick up the notes so I can read it easier. The body currently in the embalming room is done, so please return it to the cold storage and get started on the next one. I've left the key to the embalming room in the top drawer in the front desk, Raymond. P.S. Don't forget your clipboard. All right, thank you, Raymond. So clipboard will be taking that with us. Keep track of things. Yeah, we got that. So we need to find those keys. Let's take a look. Maybe in these ones here. Hold up. There's some fuses in the bottom. Three to be exact. Uh, 
Do we take those? Sure, I'll take a couple of those things. Let's go. However, we need the keys, and there it is. A key to the embalming room hall. Yep. We'll be taking that. Quick inventory. You can attempt to do that. All right, I'll read this in my own time. So we press that. Aha, uh -huh. that's quite the quick access. I like that. So what? you still don't want to close them doors, though? Some matches on the side, too. Little things laid around everywhere. So can we get started right now? We don't. Oh, we do have the embalming room key. Let's try and use it. We used it on something. Let's go. Hey, so we got that door open. This one, though, is already completely opened up. We've got a toilet zone. Hey, look at that. We even have our own character model. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? You good? Put a box of matches. Matchbox. I can't, I can't use that here. You can't. Yeah, but you can't also see, though, so maybe you should. The freak are these. Uh, a cleaning solution for cleaning tanks of embalming. I'll take at least one of those. You know, I may as well equip some bits that I need. All right, let's go back. Here we go. So... We can open the windows now. We don't want to do that. The storm is so, so bad today. All right, let's go. So here's our first guest. Hey, I'm sorry about what happened, man. I really am. You see how they leave all these doors open, though? Like, if someone tried breaking in, all they have to do is get this door down, and they're going to find this just laying on the table here. Okay, so use the clipboard. Let's see what we need. Lots of different things. So return the body to cold storage. That's all we got to do for this guy here. So nothing else. Do we just take this right here, then? So use leave gun. See hey. Yo. Why is he looking at what? I mean, he's dead. So <laughs> open these doors first up. So we're going to return it to cold storage. Ah, uh, let me see. That one is barren as free. They're all barren by the looks of things. So that's a good sign, right? Legacy, plastic bag used for storing the ashes. So it's kind of a morbid game. I will say that like all the different things you can find around here. Hold up, sir. Let me just place you there for one second. River files, network, how to. To enter cadaver information, click the record system icon to open the program. Match the sections on your clipboard to the corresponding sections on the computer. Once all findings have been entered into the system, click submit to print out embalming records, then file the records up front to begin the embalming. Okay, uh, we'll try and do that then. This file is only for Riverfield morticians with access rights, which we don't have at this moment in time. So we can't really use this. We've got to learn more things about the body, I guess, that we're dealing with. For now, we just got to return this guy, I think, way back here. Uh, and then we just... Wait, hold on, hold on. To return the body to its cold storage location, open the bay with the body's name, pull out the rack by holding the use button and walking towards it. Uh, hold up a sec. Let me just pop this guy here. So... Where's the name tag on this guy? Does he have one on, like, his hand or something? Hold up, there's a key in here. What is this? An old key that belongs to Mr. Dalva? Uh, yes. yeah, I'll put that in my back pocket. Heck yeah. That's also locked up, so maybe the key already goes to that. We can give it a try. Seem to open it. Yo, hold up. Small notebook, Rebecca. You weren't supposed to find this yet, but I suppose you found my key. You simply aren't ready for this work, and I can't let you live what I live. Not yet. Maybe in the spring. What? Did we hear that together? <gasps> Yo. What the freak? That, that scared me so much. I pulled up my notepad as a, as a shield, man. Hold up. Hello? Hey. Who the freak is out there? Get out of here, man. Don't be doing that. Shut that thing back down. So, why'd that thunder clap at the right time? I do not like this. Hang on. The front door, wide open. You don't want to lock it? Now, there's a code on here. Spring 2022. Surely the computer code wouldn't be like 0422, would it? 0422. Let's enter. It's not. Hang on, let me go to the body. I have no idea what this guy's name is. There's no name tag or anything like that. Um, hold up. We can close the doors. We don't want to do... Yo. Hey, Matt. Do you want to get out of here? What the freak is going on? Hey, this door's... Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Hello? Nah, 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 nah. You can skip that. I am not going that way. Nope. Door's being closed. I'm dealing with this guy here. Back door is locked. Thank goodness. I don't know his name. I have no idea what this guy's name is, man. Francisca and Sean Todd. Those are the only two with names on. And this looks like a dude. So I think this must be Sean. Sorry about this, Sean. But we're going to tuck you away now. Oh, we have to pull that out. Got it, got it. Oh. Yo, even that jump scares me. Are you serious? So we move that back. Sorry, bud. We'll pack you away for the night and we'll leave you be. Close that door. All right, so. Hey, ma'am. I see you peeping right there. Do you want to leave? Yeah, I saw you before. Get out of here. I kind of wanted to come back. It was where the lights were on. Matchbox. I can't use that here. Are you crazy? How am I supposed to see where I'm going? Yo, this is messed up. This is messed up. What the freak? The light is on here. This is making my chest go funny because I don't know what's about to happen. But I'm going in. Yo, I kind of want to just get out of this place right now. I don't want to enter, and I don't want to do my job. Let me just check around the surroundings of the building. Something is really, really off here. I mean, we've just seen Demon Lady twice. We know that. Look at this. Like, nothing around the back. Uh, lights on there. What the heck? Maybe I'm paranoid. Maybe I'm just freaking out over nothing. Gotta think about the whole situation, right? We're working the night shift. We kind of woke up quickly. Maybe we are just paranoid. That's all it is. Hang on. This one's got a name. There's another person here. 
Oh, so now we've got to deal with this lady. So it was Francisca or Francisca. Let me pick this up. It is your time to go on the table. Hey, Francisca. Nice to meet you. Let's just get this done. I hate how when you wheel this thing, you literally stare at it in my light. I'm trying to look away. I'm just trying to think as well. Like, we have this lady here, and we keep seeing that ghostly apparition also in this room. Also a lady. Yo, let's just get this done, okay? We pop her in the center right there. I can't see. Ah! <gasps> What the freak? The thing about this game is you literally think that you're seeing things and then it turns out you're not. Light on. What the heck? This game is absolutely terrifying. Also, how are you doing that your head is inside a box? All right, let's check you out. Let's go. How do we check it out? I'm actually closing that door. I don't want to see any other ways through. It's freaking me out, man. So we examine the body. Okay, there's a tattoo there. So we're making notes. This, like, semi-detective thing is what we're doing here. We have to look at the body, see if we find any problems. So there's some scratch marks there, you see? Make a note of that. Abrasion's right there. Rotate again. No more, though. Oh, uh, this game is going to be really scary. I can feel it. Like, I really can. Make a note. All right, she's got some marks on her ankles. Uh, nothing on her leg. <laughs> Someone just came in the shop. Hey, listen, ma'am. I'll be right back. I got a customer. Maybe at the front desk. Ah, uh, hey, man. Sorry about the lights. And Dude, I don't want to do this. What the freak? I don't know where the light. There they are. This is absolutely terrifying. I ain't gonna lie. So the doors can be opened. I'm shutting these things, man. Close the doors. It's like when you do something, you feel like something's about to jump scare you. Okay, we go back to the body. Let's do it. Uh, we ain't done looking yet, so anything on the chest, on the back. Uh, got a mole right there, but that looks like that's about it, really. Okay, record system, so name. I think her name was Francisca. Let me just go and check. No, 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 I'm running. I am just going to run. I ain't looking back. I refuse. I look back. What do I look back for, man? What is my problem? Close that. So, Francisca Woods. Okay, Francisca. Okay, okay. Don't get... Something just buffered in right now. Something just buffered in. Good evening. Yo. There is so many bizarre scares with this game. Okay, so we match the name, her age. Uh, let's see. So on her right arm, mild abrasion. We had the left arm as well with a mild abrasion. Tattoo on the bird. And on the right leg, mild abrasion again. Right shoulder, we had the mole. Nothing on the head. So I hope that kind of saves our progress. So we got to find a marking on the head. Oh my God. I don't want to do this. I really don't want to. Ah! Uh! <laughs> the contact, man! The contact. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Okay, nothing there. Uh, center head. So, we're looking for something, right? There's nothing there. I see nothing. Maybe on one of the shoulders in that case? What is happening in this place? There you go. So, abrasions on the back, too. All right, we're done here. Dude, this game is so weird. It's freaking me out so much. So, let's fill the information. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? What the freak are you doing? It's not unusually follow orders, but on this occasion, I think we've got no choice. What the heck is this? It's like PT style, you see? We just keep going in. Hey, lady, this don't feel real. I think you set me up. It's crossing the floor. If we look back, we are actually furthering in here as well. God has left you. Okay, you can stop with the cryptic stuff. I don't want to hear much more. It's the same message on the board. I am here. Yeah, I know you are. Hold up, FNAF though? Yo, hey, ma'am. What? You see a twitching like that? Ah! How many times am I going to scream this game? I don't think I'm going to stop for real. Okay, I'm submitting that. I don't want to wait anymore. We got that printed out. Okay, let me go back a second. So, it's coming through. Hey, here we go. We have that all done for Francesca. I don't know why we're seeing all these delusional things. I don't know what's real, what's I not. I don't care. The copy up front. Okay. Up front, you say. A packet of mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the deceased. File up front so they are available if requested. I can't hold anything else. You can't? Are you serious? So we're going to have to throw something. All right, there we go. Can you stop, lady? You keep appearing. I'm sick of you. <laughs> oh, my God. I ain't ever talking to her again. It's time to embalm. There you go. Okay, so now we have to embalm. I don't know if I want to be doing this. I ain't going to lie. So, embalming. What do we do to get this started? Maybe it involves this machine here. Let's take a look. So, we need something. A cleaning solution for cleaning tanks of embalming machines. So, we probably want to use this. <laughs> That's not Maybe it's over here. Okay, form of an artificial fluid base for firming and preserving tissue. That sounds like a good start. Yo. What the heck? Hey! What are you doing? You should be dead! Hey! Enough of that, man! Enough of that creepy bullcrap, man! Even Sean is taking his time! There's no one in there! What the heck? I'm waiting for a jump scare in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No jump scare? 
Hey, we got away lucky this time. I thought someone would straight up jump me. Let me take a look at the clipboard then. So we need glural hydrate, uh, methanol, and tumicin. So quite a few different things. We probably could find those on the shelves behind us too. All right, let's see. Bleaching agent. Uh, I think that might be at least something. Let me read the tag. The premium. I don't know if that is. Hold on. I'll leave that there a second. See this one here. Thickwood. Wait, what? <laughs> Aha, now this one. Glutarohide. I think I saw that as a name. Okay, so we take that with us, and then we got to add this to the tank straight up. There you go. There's the second one. So two or four down. Methanol. Let me see. Fast diet. That's talking about needles. What's this down here? Chemlad. Methanol. We definitely need that. So that's going to be another thing we add. Number three. Done. So now we need humicton. Whatever that is. Okay. What's this here? Humicton. That's what we need. So we take that. Number four. All right. We add this to the machine. Pour that bad boy in. All right. Let's get this started then. So it's all linked up over here. Make an incision in the cartoid artery and jugular vein with scalpel and forceps. Most of these terms, man, I have no idea about. So scalpel and forceps we got to find. See, we have a scalpel right there. Now, forceps. Is that a forcep? That's a troja, so we don't need that. Dude, this place, though, it keeps everything everywhere. It's so hard to keep a flow. Uh, okay, we're looking for forceps, though. Anyone seen any around here? Have a look in these drawers. We have... What is that? Limited access. We probably should have taken that at the start. <laughs> Ooh, Mr. Delver's work badge. That's a full access. I think ours is the same too. Ours is limited access, I see. But we can't take that at this moment in time. What the freak? What is with these things, man? Just appearing behind me all the time. I'm just gonna pretend that these aren't real. Artery forceps, we got that. We're getting to work. We are getting to work. So here we go. If you jump out of me, I swear to goodness. What the freak? Hey, she didn't like that. I don't like this. Hey, ma'am, get the freak back in this place now. You're not being dead. You should be dead. What are you doing? The window's locked up. Yeah, you stay out there and get cold. I don't even care, you weirdo. Hold on. It's this lady again. I walked to her. Hey! Woo! Okay. What is... Hey, she burned that on the floor. Hey, man. Don't lock me in this place. Come on right now. They sealed me in. These freaking dudes having a plan, man. The flash of fire and ashes of flesh will herald the coming of my... House? Hey, man, please don't kill me! I'm taking- I don't know I'm doing, I'm taking out arms! What is happening? This is like a much deeper adventure than I thought it would be. I thought it would just be like doing our job and then we get out of here. What does a story within this thing? Like, you can really feel it. Hold up, so, as we walk... Whoa! Alright, alright, I see that. It's like this place is falling apart between our feet. It's like rebuilding- What? what? They've done an increase for you, so that's 300 milligrams now. What is that? Uh, let me know if you have any questions, okay? Okay. Uh, Thank you. Hold up. There's some backstory here. This feels like an interrogation room almost. Uh, Get me out of here! All right. But you didn't get allowed. out, though. Me. What the freak? The aggression. Uh, and then there's a bed here. I'm sorry. What did you do? Something went down. Oh! You killed him. No! <gasps> What the? Hey, man, this is so weird. Like, talking about us killing someone or something? Wow, this adventure is a lot deeper than I thought. Demons, you don't even scare me. You don't even know the stuff I've been seeing. And you're back chilling. I appreciate you being a good customer. Hold on. So we get back to business, right? All right, let's go. Scalpel, and then we go with the forceps. All right, do our job. What do we need to do now? Clamp tubing on both veins to connect the embalming pump. How the freak do we do that? What do we need for this ion? Use for injecting cavity fluid directly into organs. That sounds like what we might need right here. Uh, so we'll get back to our job. Head up and put That's this guy in. That's not the right item. So yeah, I really am not sure what I'm looking for here. PVC tubing. That might be the thing we need. At least I hope so. I've been searching for such a long time. Let me see. Yes! Hey, let's go. I've never been so happy to do that to a dead person. That sounds so bad. All right, hold up. Press the machine. Yeah, get pumped, man. Let's go. Hit the machine. Oh, wait, hold up. What's this doing? Oh, that's gross. I never knew it was like that. Uh, okay, all going down there. So, we leave it to do its thing. Let me check my clipboard whilst I'm waiting. Engage pump and let body drain. We just wait, then remove tubes, close the incision. Yeah, that water's starting to turn a lot more clear. All right, so most of this is just waiting around. That sounds like it's making a different sound. Might be good. I'm gonna wait a couple more seconds just to be certain. Maybe turn it off. Maybe it's all good to go, right? So the next thing we have to do is remove the pump from the neck, I believe. So we'll do that. Yo, 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 yo. Hey! You stay right there, ma'am. I'll be right back to attending you. I'm sorry about these distractions. I am appalled at the condition 
We are doing this in. Demons will not leave us alone tonight. It is impeccable. Let me just check these. Okay, we're good. Yo, I don't want to open this one, but I will. Look, he's just taking... He's the only one cooperating. Good, that's still locked. And we got that one empty. Nice, okay. We're good back here. Strange sounds meaning nothing. We close that. Oh, God. Don't do any noises. Don't bash the window. Don't appear down there. Just don't. The next step then is to we'll, we'll remove the tubes. We gotta close the incision. So I assume we got a tool for that. Setting needles used with the uh, to wire the jaws. Uh, I mean, I don't think we need those. There you go. Oh, we just take them away and it just heals up like that. Who knew it was that simple? Okay, let's check the clipboard one more time then. So our next objective, fill an empty IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid and then insert into the abdominal cavity. Got the empty IVs right there. Top fill container. So that is one thing we need to take. What is this down here? Flow clean, uh, cleaning for tanks and embalming. So that's not what we need. We need another substance. Wait, that's it right there. So do we just equip that like so? Seem it made a sound. It sounded like a good one. Full reservoir bag. So to fill the cavities, insert... <laughs> Oh my goodness me. Insert the truck out until it stops to begin the flow of embalming. Once that cavity is full, pull the truck out back, rotate, and reinsert a new angle. So bizarre. All right, let's go. So like that, are we good? It's doing something. You see the little bar going down? And then we hold that still until we have to move it to a different spot because it might stop draining, perhaps. There you go. And then we go in there. It's, just, it's a very interesting yet morbid game, i got to say. I've never seen a game done with so much detail to this as a concept. So I think that's why it's so disturbing for me, to be honest. Honestly, I kind of feel bad for the person who made this game. They would have had to have researched every single part about this process. Because I don't know if this is actually how things go down or if they're kind of making this fictional method up. But it seems a bit too legit for it to be fake. So I'm kind of like, hold up. This is nearly done. We should be good here, actually. There we go. And that is it. So that part is done. You know, we do the usual 360 look around because usually a demon's watching us. But I don't see one right now. Pour pump cleaner into the embalming pump to clean it. So we already know how we do that thing, thankfully. Very simple task. We have this ready equipped. So take that with us. We pour that like so. It made a noise. So I assume it's going to do the process unless now we do it. There you go. All right. So that's now being cleaned. We're well on track to nearly finishing up. I love how I'm back up in the corner every time. Let me just mess with this. I haven't even looked at it. Um, Symbols are top. We can't really do anything to... You can select symbols. Interesting. Okay, that's all good to go. What any of this means, I am completely clueless though, guys. We can't... Wait, you can. You can put these in different, like, spots and then maybe do something as a result. These, of course, aren't the right ones. I have no idea. Very confusing. Probably shouldn't mess with that in case we accidentally summon a demon versus trying to get rid of the one that's in here, clearly. I'm actually going to stop doing that. Hey, map, you are coming with me. Don't open those eyes right now. Oh! What the heck? The door is open. The four seals have marked my coming. What the, the halls heck? of Satan echo my return. Um, I mean, funny I speech. Am here. Yeah, I can tell you. <laughs> uh, it's like something's possessive. Oh! Yo. And this is our cue. Not even one sigil. What the freak? I am so sorry. My name is so what? far from reach. Yo. Please don't demon. <laughs> like, I don't want to look behind. I don't want to. I, I am really nervous, guys. Oh. I bear no harm. What? I the... suffer no bondage but this rotten freak. Are you a corpse? What is <laughs> this, bro? Oh. It's the same. Look hey! I treat you. Flesh, I am oh. oh my God! Come, can, can we move? No longer mine. Oh my gosh, yo! I can't move. I have my what? prize. Dude, it's us, isn't it? It's us. Oh, it's the person that we were seeing the whole time with the red eyes. Oh, it's like climbing out of the depths of hell. One hand on the shoulder and one on the booty. Oh, goodness. Can we please move? Don't come in my face, no. Pause on that. Please don't. Listen, man. It's my day job or night job on this occasion. Hello? Gosh, man! Oh! That was terrifying. 
That was absolutely terrifying. Oh, that's why they say spring 2022. That's when we can learn what we do with that cabinet. What the heck? This game had much more of a story than I anticipated it having. Like, I thought it would just be the process, but there's actually a story about Rebecca Owens. It goes much more than just performing these acts. There's a reason maybe why she's doing it. And also, there's a darker force at play more so, which is really interesting how a game has been made around this whole idea as a concept. This is why you got to appreciate the indie games, man. They do the sort of things like this that no one else does. As bizarre as they are, everyone kind of gets the curiosity peak, which is exactly what I've got right now. But with all that said and done, man, that is the mortuary assistant. So I'm wondering if this main menu is setting out some like 1960s vibe instead of the one we're in. Maybe it will take us in the past where something else happened and we'll learn more about what was going down here. It's a very unique yet morbid game idea, but it was really cool. And there were so many little scares in this thing and they've really caught me off guard. It really made me want to every single time I did the smallest task, look over my shoulder to make sure nothing was stalking me down, coming closer. This is a completely free demo as well. The link is in the description if you do want to play this thing for yourself. But for this video here, guys, this one we're going to leave everything. That was the Mortuary Assistant demo, and I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.